Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So here you've got two circles of radius 1. So this is of radius 1, this is of radius 1. Uh, work out this purple area here. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, start out with your circle of radius 1. So, um, so start out with this circle of radius 1. Uh, and then if you want to move it up by 1, then you would, you would put um, y minus 1 into, into here. So that will then take you to here. Because we are trying to come up with the, um, the formula for this circle. We are trying to come up with a formula for this circle in polar form. So, uh, so, so the in, in Cartesian form, uh, th that circle is given by this. So now we need to convert into polar form. So um, we've done this before. So um, I'm asking you to be able to jump to here. A circle of radius zero is meaningless. So, uh, so the formula for that circle is given by, is given by, this, and then to come up with a formula for for this circle in polar form, you would start out with a circle centered at the origin, and then if you want to move it to the right by one, then uh, then change this to this, and then multiply out the. Um, Multiply out the the, uh, the brackets here. That will then give you this, and then combine these two together. So remember to convert a Cartesian into polar form. You must know these three. Uh, well, put this into 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 here, and then uh, the the two x. Well, let's put this into here. That will then take you to here. Um, Factorize it, blah blah blah. We've done this before, so I'm expecting you to know that um, the uh, the formula for the other circle is given by this. So we are now at this stage, where in polar form, the uh, the equation for this circle is given by this. The equation for this circle is given by this. And if you want to work out the area. I'm expecting you to know this. We've done this before. So um, if you want to know the area, you integrate it. But the problem is, um, oh, well, you're trying to work out this area here. So to work this out, we are just going to cut it at 45 degrees because this is where it's going to sect at 45 degrees. And then uh, we are going to integrate. Looking at this circle, looking at this circle, we are going to integrate this bit here. So as 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 the angle moves around. Is going to integrate. You're going to find out. You're going to find this area here. So let's start again. As, as you move, as you're integrating like this, by the time you get to 45 degrees, it's going to work out this area for you. It's going to hang on. It's going to work out that area. So let's start again here. You're moving around like this. Hang on. You're moving around like this. So as you're moving around, you're going to, you're going to work out. You're going to work out half of that area. Wait out. So by the time you get to 45 degrees, it's going to give you that area. And then right at the end, we're going to multiply by two to get this half. Okay. So so our first step is to really we are trying to integrate from zero to well, we've got to figure this bit out. At the back of your mind, know that this this should be at 45 degrees, which is pi over four. But let's pretend we didn't know this. So. We are trying to um, to work out at what angle at what angle w w will the the radius of this circle be the same as the radius of this circle. We are trying to find we are trying to find this angle here. We are trying to find this angle here, which which would be you solving this. When will this radius be the same as the radius of this the other circle? Well, let's divide both sides by. Uh, 2 cos theta that will then give you this well this thing here is tan theta so um, so theta equals pi over 4 so let me recap the equa let me recap so the equation for for this circle is given by this the cir the uh, equation for this circle is given by this so we are trying to integrate it from 0 because we're moving along like this and ang the angle is moving around. We are integrating from zero to pi over four, and then uh, and then right at the end, right at the end, we can times it by times it by two to, to get 
this half here okay so so let's just concentrate on working out half of this so this here is given by by this thing here because uh the uh well r here is 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 this here is this here because remember we are we are working with this circle here as opposed to this circle so we are working with this circle here so we got to put this into here so that will then take us to here so we are currently here and then hang on and then now integrate it so um so let's uh, factor out the four take the four out that will then give you this so now it's just a matter of integrating sine squared to integrate sine squared you must know this by heart so um so i'm gonna i'm gonna rewrite this as this but i'm gonna write this as a half and then the whole thing so now i can take out this half here that will then give us that will then give us this thing here so now it's just a matter of integrating this so integrate one that will give you theta integrate this that will then give you this thing and we're doing it from zero to pi over four so now we can just we can put pi over four into here that will then give us this put pi over four into here that will be sine of pi over two because you've got a two here and then take away and then put the zero into here that will then give you this put the zero into here that will then give you this so now our final area is given by this so now we need to um, uh, multiply that by two so hang on so that becomes pi minus uh, minus two over four uh, and then so so that gives us half half of an area so if we want the whole area so let's say whole whole area so the whole area equals um, this thing times 2 so that will be pi minus 2 over 2 okay so so this is your final answer okay